Hi again, all of you. Um, so this is the next topic. So the second video is here. Uh, this next topic in part one of module two, that is the radar equation, is um, receiver noise and SNR. Let me uh, yeah expand the screen. So let's once more go through the syllabus. So we, in the previous video, we had uh, completed the prediction of range performance. Uh, detection of signal in noise, that is the minimum detectable signal was uh, dealt in <clears throat> first module. And now this video is for the next topic that is receiver noise and SNR. Okay, so let's um, move forward. So these were already taken. So next is receiver noise and SNR. <clears throat> now, um, so as uh, said in the previous uh, video, we were ignoring the fact about the uh, receiver noise which is present in the radar block diagram. But because of the receiver noise, there are many issues which we, uh, which we went through in the previous uh, video. Now, at microwave frequencies, noise with which the target echo signal competes is usually generated within the receiver itself. So the main problem is the receiver noise itself. Now, suppose the receiver is perfect. That is, it is completely, perfectly noise-free and it has a noise-free environment. Um, that means the receiver itself is so perfect that it does not generate any excess noise. So uh, assume that is the scenario. But in such a case, there would still be a noise which is called as thermal noise or Johnson noise in the receiver, okay? So this thermal noise or Johnson noise uh, is the noise generated by thermal agitation of conduction electrons in the ohmic portion of the receiver input stages, okay? So uh, this noise cannot be ignored. Now this expression which you see here, that is uh, KTBN, is the expression for thermal noise. I hope you have uh, seen this expression in your previous semesters. Uh, now, mm, this uh, thermal noise magnitude is directly proportional to the bandwidth and the absolute temperature of the ohmic portions of the input uh, blocks of the receiver stages, okay? Now, this available thermal noise power, which is measured in watts, is generated at the input of receiver which has a bandwidth Bn, okay, which is measured in uh, hertz, at the temperature T, which is measured in degree Kelvin, and uh, K is the Boltzmann constant, as you can see here. Okay. Now, um, this bandwidth, which we are talking about here, is an ideal bandwidth, that is Bn. Bandwidth of superheterodyne receiver is taken to be that of an IF amplifier or matched filter. Now, uh, I hope you remember the first radar block diagram which we had taken in module one. Uh, you would remember the first stage was LNA and then the mixer and then comes the IF stage along with the matched filter and then comes the video amplifier in case we are video broadcasting and then comes the threshold detection part. Now, this uh, bandwidth which is considered here, that is BN, is that of the IF amplifier or the, or the matched filter, okay, uh, which has the expression as this. Okay, so this is called as the noise bandwidth. This noise bandwidth has this expression, uh, integral minus infinity to infinity, H of F the whole square DF by H of F naught square. Now what is H of F naught? It is, um, it is the frequency, uh, response function at the mid band range that is this if the center frequency is f naught okay frequency of maximum response is f naught and h of f naught is the frequency response function at the mid band range h of f is the frequency response function of if amplifier or the if filter stage along with the match filter if you see this expression, you can see that the range of the integration is from minus infinity to infinity, which you can also see in this figure. It is ranging from minus infinity to infinity. Okay, but 
it is not actually practically realizable. So this equation states that the noise bandwidth is the bandwidth of the equivalent rectangular filter whose noise power output is same as the filter with frequency response function h of f. So the reasonable, reasonable approximation for this bn is the half power bandwidth. Okay, Half power bandwidth is uh, the approximation which is used for many practical radar receivers. So this half power bandwidth is termed to be D, okay? So in practice, 3 dB bandwidth is used, not this. Ideally, when you use, you will use the expression Bn, but in practical filters, B would be used, okay? Which is the 3 dB bandwidth or the half power bandwidth. It is normally used to approximate the noise bandwidth Bn. B is normally used as an approximation for Bn and B is the 3 dB bandwidth or the half power bandwidth. The noise power in practical receivers is actually greater than the thermal noise alone. Okay, which we were talking earlier, uh, which is uh, due to the thermal ag agitation of the conduction electrons. Now let us come to the next thing, uh, topic that is noise figure. What is noise figure? I hope you remember this term because I have several. Uh, I have used this term several times in class. Noise figure, and uh, I would also have mentioned that noise figure should be always minimum when you design any receiver. Usually, we'll uh, check that in LNAs. Uh, now, noise figure is the measure of noise power output uh, of a real receiver to that from an ideal receiver with only thermal noise. So amplifiers and other circuits always have some noise to a signal and so the signal to noise ratio is higher than the output, uh, higher at the output than at the input. So signal to noise ratio is considered here. Now, now the expression for Fn as I said is noise out of a practical receiver that is a real receiver divided by the noise out of a ideal noiseless receiver at standard temperature. Uh, T0 at standard temperature T0. So the expression of Fn that is noise figure becomes noise out of a practical receiver that is N out and noise out of an ideal receiver. Ideal receiver, we just saw the expression FKTBN. Okay, so for an ideal receiver, the noise input so N in, right? N in is KT0 BN where K is the Boltzmann constant, T0 is a standard temperature, 290 Kelvin or uh, 62 degree Fahrenheit by IEEE. D is the noise bandwidth. GA here is the available gain. So available gain is nothing but S out by S in. S out is the output signal, S in is the input signal, okay? So S out by S in is the available gain expression. So this expression is uh, considered when input and output are perfectly matched. So what do you mean by perfectly matched? When you match the impedances uh, and this perfect matching is done in order to avoid the reflections and ultimately the standing waves, right? Now, now let us come to the next expression. So as I said, available gain GA is S out by S in, that is output by input signal. And KT not B. Now, in these expressions, BN is used. Uh, but in my notes, I have used B because uh, when we consider practical scenario, we, uh, we approximate BN with B. Okay. So here expression is correct, that is KT not B. So this is the input noise in real scenarios. So this FN now will become S i by N i by S naught by N naught, right? So K T B is was N i, G A is replaced with S naught by S in, and then your noise figure expression becomes this. So this is the expression which I've been talking in class many times. What is noise figure? Signal to noise ratio at the input by S N R output. So we all know that we usually require SNR output to be higher. So the noise figure value should be minimum when you design a receiver stage, right? Now, 
this noise figure can be interpreted as measure of deviation of SNR as signal passes through the receiver. So how is SNR changing from the input towards the output stages? That is your noise figure. Now, when you rearrange this expression again, that is substituting the uh, NI value again back to this, and then write an expression for SI, you get, so SI becomes Fn into Ni into S out by N out, right? So SI is Ni, in this KT B naught is Ni, Fn, and then S out by N out. Now, sorry. finally, this S, now this is SI. If the, if the minimum detectable signal that is S min is that value of S in, which corresponds to the minimum detectable SNR at the output of IF stage, that is S out by N out minimum. So if you substitute SI with S min here, this S out by N out will become S out, S out by N out minimum. So that is what we have done this here in the final expression. SI, if SI is the minimum detectable signal, then S out by N out will become the minimum SNR of the IF stage. So the same expression is rewritten in this way. Now, this, so this is the expression for S min. Now, if you, uh, re, if you substitute the first radar range equation, what was the radar range equation? R max the expression for R max, which is equal to PTG AE sigma by four pi R the whole square, the whole power one by four, right? If you, sub, if you um, substitute this S min expression into that, this S min is in the denominator of R max expression. So if you substitute this S min ex expression in the actual radar range equation, what you get is this, right? PTG AE sigma by four pi square, into S min. So this was the expression for S min. So this is the modified radar range equation. It is uh, frequently used, uh, asked in uh, video exam. So uh, one second, I'll just uh, show you the video question. Video question paper. Mm, yeah. So this is the video question paper uh, of last year. It is July 2019. Uh, the same question, the same, same scheme which you have now. Here, if you see the module two question, derive the modified radar uh, equation in terms of SNR, signal to noise ratio. So this is asked for eight months. So till here, whatever we just uh, discussed. So you have to, you have to, uh, yeah, one second. Yeah, you have to derive till here. Okay. Now the same things I have uh, put in my notes too. Mm, I'll just uh, share you the notes. Okay. So these are the notes. Okay, I've written the same things in my notes too. Um, yeah, receiver noise and SNR. So about the thermal noise, thermal agitation, and then the noise power KTBN and then the BN expression and uh, how we are approximating BN with B, that is half by bandwidth. And then the expression for FN, that is noise figure. Okay, and then the final expression for FN and then the modified rearranged expression for S min and then final modified uh, radar range equation. Now, um, Yeah. Now, uh, what are this? What is the advantage of this uh, modified radar range equation? Now, as we discussed, as we just uh, discussed that um, the SNR, the S out by N out expression, which is used here, is the ratio of S by N of the IF stage. So, when you are um, this ratio, that is at the output of the IF stage, when you maximize this SNR at the output, it is equivalent to maximizing the video output. So what is the next block in radar block diagram after IF stage? It is the video amplifier, right? The envelope detector and then the threshold detection. So if you are increasing the SNR of the IF stage, it means you are increasing the SNR at the 
output stage that is video output where the threshold decision is made so this is the advantage of this expression okay uh, thank you so the next topic is uh, probabilities of detection and false alarm uh, i will be doing that in the next video thank you i if you have any doubts please ask through whatsapp or go to classroom or you can call thank you